See important safety information at the end of the video. Only your doctor can determine if this therapy is right for you. The aim is a uh, number of things. Primarily is a reduction in the intensity of pain. And I say a reduction, I don't need a complete abolition of pain. Most studies have shown us that pain is reduced, but not completely eradicated. Uh, the second aim is as a result of a reduction in pain you hope that there will be a reduction in the amount of medication consumed by the patient. Uh, the third one is an improvement in function and a lot of our patients express a desire after the device is implanted to uh, start to go back on walks, to start uh, doing their own shopping, to start doing activities that they cannot do now because of the pain and this is uh, I suppose central to an improvement in the quality of life of patients. A Medtronic implantable spinal cord stimulation system is indicated as an aid in the management of chronic intractable pain of the trunk and or limbs, peripheral vascular disease or intractable pain of the posterior trunk. The most frequently reported problems following the surgery to implant a neurostimulation system include infection, lead movement, pain at the implant site, loss of therapy effect and therapy that did not meet the patient's expectations. For a list of adverse events that have been associated with the therapy, please refer to the important safety information on our websites, listed at the end of the video. The medical procedure diathermy cannot be used on someone with an implanted neurostimulation device, as this can result in severe injury or death. Most electrical devices and magnets encountered in a normal day are unlikely to affect the operation of a neurostimulator. However, sources of strong electromagnetic interference such as MRI and RF microwave ablation can interact with the neurostimulation system resulting in serious injury or device damage depending on the implanted device. The content of this video is informative only. It does not contain nor replace any medical diagnosis. For medical diagnosis you should always contact your healthcare professional. Always talk with your doctor about diagnosis and treatment information Bear in mind that all therapies carry risks. This therapy is not right for everyone. Not everyone responds to spinal cord stimulation in the same way, and your experience may vary. To understand the benefits and risks, please discuss them in detail with your doctor. A prescription is required. For complete safety information about spinal cord stimulation for chronic pain, visit www.tamethepain.co.uk slash safety hyphen neurostimulation.